Okay, welcome back to part 3. So now I'm going to show you the stapler what I did. Okay. So the so the metal bit here I changed to grey. Alright. And then I add to for uh, value 2 here. Followed by value 3 here. Okay, layer 4 is actually the I would say let me cancel. Let me see I uh, Let's just call the metal parts. Right? So how I did the metal parts I will share with you. Notice that this portion is supposed to be light and then when it goes inside it's supposed to be dark and then followed by light again. Okay. This portion here we can always uh, maybe make it a little bit much more darker. Let me see what I can do here. Yep, much more darker. Okay. That will help to uh, pop up that portion. Okay. So now the stapler, most of the value are up, but it will look slightly little bit flat. So, what I did was I put a dark line here. Okay, when I put a dark line on top, there won't be any much different if you remember the bottom until I put my highlights line. These are basically just white lines. Okay, so those white lines I need to Clean up the sides, alright. Make sure that the edges here can't really see. Let me just clean up this side too. Not too much. Okay, can that will help to pop that uh, value up? Those values, okay. So all these we can always group them up. Then let's call that stapler. Okay, the next one we need to work will be this guy, the tape dispenser. But before we even start that, we need to anything. But before we even start that, let's do a proper masking first, yeah, for this guy, which is the. Okay, let me see what is here. Okay. This portion you must be able to see because why the tape is uh, the tape will be on top of it. Okay, so all this here we need to do a quick masking, all right? So that it will look like it's inside there, yeah. Okay. From what I see here, the value 3 might be, or uh, it's really a tone too dark. Okay. So let's just reduce a bit to about maybe 50 ish. Okay. Okay, similar to the bottle, the stapler, we need to create some path. Alright, let me create some path and then I get back to you. Okay, so once we have the path, now we are ready to start to paint. Okay, we can always borrow the same values just now, which is here, All right? Do not forget to multiply it. Okay, so now we can start to uh, paint in general, yeah? You don't have to uh, worry about the tone value here first. Just pin. Okay. It's always easier to work with a bigger brush. Alright. So from here, let's say I want it slightly whitish. I can always push up the values. Okay. 
looks quite about there. So right now we need to work with a tape underscore two, which is a slightly darker version, right? Multiply brush mode. Okay. Okay, let me just check this portion. Okay. The reason why we can't see is in white. Okay, let's just change again. All right, now we are in business. So, as usual, I will just start to paint it, giving it some form and colors first. Okay. Always working with the uh, bigger brush set, yeah. Okay. This looks quite about okay for me for now. The next one we need to start to put uh, filling in colors for the rest of the component. Let me find this portion first. Okay, got it. Make it into selection mode. Okay, we can't use two, so maybe we call it tape to B. Okay, the reason why is that we want to paint this portion, but we do not want to work destructively. Okay, meaning we can always come back here and change if we need to. Okay. Oops. Right. Let's just work with this, whatever we have first for now. Okay. Time to make it slightly lighter up. Okay. So those lighter component, my recommendation is to work with um, masking. Yeah, so you can always mask out the body to give it a slightly a wider whitish tone. Okay, let me get back this one. Right. So now you have a whitish tone there. Let's go back to here again. We need to make it dark here. So what you can do, right? So now my brush mode. We need to start painting a bit. Okay. You just need to be a tiny bit here, all right? And about there, the reason why is that we need to give some light here where the curve is, all right? Not too much, yeah. This one you will need some uh, practice to visualize a bit, okay. Again, oops. All right. Let me just start to erase some stuff here. Okay. Oops. My bad. Let me just paint it white oops wrong the whole thing black yes okay. the reason why it's in masking mode and then something changed just now okay so this is about just quite i'm just about quite happy with that
Yes, looks quite okay for me for now. We can always come back here to work and then edit whatever component there are. Okay, let's just call it tape underscore three to C. Okay, the reason why is that we need to start to pluck out the small little details. So let me just take my arrow button, just this and this. Okay, under layer, which is 2C here, which we can always, wait, uh, let me just make selection again, go to layers, alright, just see what's inside here, erase a bit, Okay, so we are clear for that. Okay, all these components here, I think we can must must every single thing out. All right, let's just open up a new one again, so as not to confuse anyone. Okay, let me just find out where to start. Drawing this thing out. Okay. Yep, about here. And then we need to start drawing the Okay, give me one second. This one will take some time to draw out. All right, so we need to do a quick selection again. A let's just do a quick group, inverse it out. Yep. So now it's covering that component up. However, it's not um, changing anything here. Okay, so what I need to do, go back to my layers again, find my stapler, which is this, and then start to paint inside here. Alright. Okay, that's about cool. Uh, we got most of it there. So now let's take the arrow button again. Channel layer. Okay, so now this is for this. Alright, so we can use these layers to start painting inside. Okay, do not forget to multiply. You can go really dark inside here. No worries. Okay, quite about right there. The next one we need to touch is the uh, stapler, eh, the tape dispenser here. Okay, so what we can do, which we have a, uh, the line works ready, we can use grayscale, right? So let's just use grayscale instead. Okay, layers, we need to open up a new one. Okay. Um, we used the last video to do up the tip. Yeah, alright. 